Hello, I'm Dragos and in this video we are going to go and uh, check uh, more details about uh, FastHTML and we are going to see how we can add an AI application to with FastHTML when uh, we are going to use Pydentic AI to add the AI LLM with uh, OpenRouter 1 and uh, yeah, I've created an article in here with all of these details but first, if you don't know Pydentic AI, it's an agentic tool that can help you build uh, AI agents with Python. I want to use Pydentic AI because I want to maybe create in the future some agents and that's why I want to integrate it directly in the code line right now. And that's why I'm not using something different. And if you don't know OpenRouter, I've created already a video. It's an um, aggregation uh, tool for different models and in here you can choose from different models. You have also some free ones that can be used. So we can start creating an AI application for free. So these are the free models. And yeah, in this video, we're going to use Fast HTML with Pydentic AI and OpenRouter to create a basic AI application that will just help us create some titles for, for instance. And in here, if we're going to check the structure for this application, we're going to see that we have an AI title generator and in here we have the main with all the details. You have a config file and in here we are going to paste the details for the API, like an API key and things like that. You have the AI service. This one it's using the LLM communication with Pydentic AI, OpenAI and things like that. You have the components folder with the init, with the header, footer and page layout. So this it's using some components. So we can easily add multiple pages if you want. You can also check the other video if you want. And in here I have the actual pages with home and title generator. Also in here I have the tools section and in here I have the Python functions to, you, to be used for the title generator tool. So the first thing that we're going to, to do is to go and make the directory. We're going cd into it. We're going to touch the init.pi files. We're going to create a virtual environment, we're going to source it and we're going to install everything, Python, .env, OpenAI and Pydentic. So I'll just copy this and I will go and just paste it like this. I have a folder in here that we are going to, to use and this will go and install everything for us and in here you see that the folders are created and what we are going to, to do is to go and create the other details. So let me put this into the left because we are going to use only one screen for the details. First thing that we are going to do is to create the config.pi file. So basically this will have the configurations for the OpenAI. So in here you see you have the import OS, we import the .env, we load the .env file so we can have access to the API key to have also the open router base URL like this and you have the default model and in here if you don't set the default model it will just default it to this chat GP3. You can change with whatever you want. In here you have the app name and debug. So this is the config file. Then we are going to have the .env file and in here I will just gonna create the .env file like this .env and in the .env file, you have the OpenRouter API key and you have the model. And right now we are going to go and create both of them or choose the model and the, the other one. So let me open the open router in here. And in here, let's choose like a model. These are the free ones. I will choose the Gemini Flash Lite like this. And in here, you just need to go and copy this to use this model. And we are going to go and add it in here like this. So right now it will gonna default to this model and we are gonna create an API key for this and to create the API key you just go into their profile and keys and we hit create key. I've also created a video with the details of OpenRouter and how it can be used and what it has to offer so you can check it if you need more details on OpenRouter and let's go and add also our key in here. So I'll paste the key in here I'll delete it after, so no worries. And the other thing that we need to do is to go and configure the other details. Let me close this, let me move this because we are going to use try for this to check everything. 
And right now we are going to create the AI service file. And let me create a file with AI service.pi. And in here I have the code for this and we are going to copy the code and we are going to discuss it briefly. I will not go into the details. You can check the article if you are interested in full details. And in here you are importing the OpenAI for the async OpenAI, Pydentic AI. You import the config. You have the, some typing in here. You have a class with the AI service. And in here you are just loading the upper router with the model name and the ASIC Axing Compon AI. It's a combination between Pydentic AI agent and OpenAI things. And in here you have the completion for this system prompts. You have the message with the append. And uh, yeah, at the end it will return the response. In here you see you have the prompt. We have the system prompt and the schema for the format. And at the end you'll have the results. So yeah, this is just to work with the AI and this AI service can be used by different tools that we have. And we're going to see in more details when we're going to use the title generator tool. But right now in tools, we're going to create the title generator. And in here, I will just copy the code for this. And basically in here, we are going to have the function that will help us create uh, this. So identic with base model AI service because we are going to use the AI service from the file that we've just created. And here we have the title generation request, title generation response in here. You see in here you have some um, details that will be sent like topic, platform, style, number of titles. These are some default things that are added in there. And in here we have the titles that will be returned. And here we have the title generator that is going to have like a name, a description. It's really going to use the AI service. It will just go and generate the titles in here. And you have the system prompts for this tool. You have the user prompt in here. So the system prompt is just to tell the AI to act like something that you want. And here you have the user prompt like generate number of titles, platform, title about, this is the topic style, it will the, as a numbered list. This is the prompt and in here you have the new response with the temperature and uh, here it will extract the titles from what it received. So this is uh, just a function that will help us format the output even better. And then we are going to create the UI component. So basically we're going to connect the components like the header and I want to have uh, like a structure way for this in case I want to add new pages and new tools to be easier. And I have the header and basically the header, it's just the navigation menu. I've created another video in the past with, which explains this very well. And in here you have the nav items and in here you have the title with details and it's appending everything in there. And in here you have the header that is defined as the logo with the app name and uh, the menu in here. Okay, then we're gonna create the footer also. You can add whatever you want in here. This is just to have something so you can check like a well structure design for this. And yeah, this is just creating a footer in there with the year and text, nothing complicated. Then we're gonna create the page layout. So basically the page layout, it's what stitch everything together like uh, all the details and in here we are just going to check it in more details. Let me copy this and I will also save it. So in here I'm just using fastcml for this with common. I have the header, I have the footer imported. This is the page layout that is defined with that title content and current page for this. And in here you have the return HTML with the title and in the in here I have in the head I have the tail in CSS for styling be easier for me because I know Tailwind CSS a little. In here I have the header with the current page and I have the footer and I have the content. So this is stitching everything together and this is used in the other area in the main. We're gonna see that. I'll create a home page right now in pages that will uh, have the home page details. It has like some hero sections and things like that. This is just to 
show you, for instance, how you can use first HTML. And in here, you have the hero section. You see, you have the app name, you have a P paragraph in there, you have the generate titles. This is a button, or it will look like a, a button. F you have the future section. So, yeah, this is using the first HTML with, you see, div h3 paragraphs and the styling. It's directed in CSS, which is quite easy. Yeah, and it, you'll see at the end, it's something nice and it's just uh, to demonstrate some fast HTML things if you're not familiar with fast HTML. And then we have the actual page with title generator page. Let's create this page, your file title generator. Let me copy the details because in here we will have some things that will help us generate the pages. So basically this is the tool page and you have the title generator form and in here you have the div that it is returned. It has the title of the page and in here you have a form. You see it is with a label that it will just tell you to use the below text area to insert the content you want to generate the titles about. So like this it's used. You see that the label then the text area it has a number of rows. If it is required equal to true. And yeah, it is styled to look nice. And in here you have the platform selection. So it's here it's for a blog, YouTube, social email subject, and it's using like a label just to know what it's about. And you have a select that is done with fast HTML. And in here we have the options for that select. It has an ID, it has a name, and it has styling with classes. And here you have the style, same select options. Number of titles, again, select. Maybe you want 5, maybe you want 10, maybe you want 15. Maybe you want something else. In here we have the button, and right now the button it will create an action to title generator generate. This is the action. And in here we have another session with some tips. Basically, this is just plain HTML with fast HTML. And in here we have the title generator results. So basically, this is the part where it will stitch together the results. And in here you have the title items, you see and it will append them and it will create also a, a button. So you see in here that you'll have a button with the options to copy them. And this is just uh, a text that it will just uh, copy the title for that row. At least it's ordered. This is the button. And then, yeah, you have the div. Okay, generated titles. Okay, topic platform, this is just to have a summary and the title list, it will be just like this below. In here you see that you have all the title items and in here I have a button to go with to generate more and uh, go to home. And that's the title generator, it's easy, not complicated at all. The other thing, let's create the main because this will have our application. Let me main.pi, this is the main application and let's go and check it because this will have all the details that we need to run this. And again, we're importing the fast HTML common for this. We're going to import the home page. We're going to import the title page you see in here, import the form and the results. And in here we have import the components and page layout that we're going to use. And in here you import the tools title generator. These are the functions that will help generate the, generate the titles with prompt and everything. You are importing the config in this section to take the title and the other things that are there. And in here you have an app with first HTML. And in here we have the app get with the root. So what is doing is just returning the page layout with the home page that it fetched. And in here you have the app name from the configuration. And again, you have the title generator. This is the page. And uh, in here you see title generator forms that it's used and it is important if you import it from this title generator. And in here we have the title generator generate. So basically when you hit generate titles, it will be sent in here to this generate. And this one it's doing an async with generate titles. And in here we have the topic platform style number of titles. So basically this is that function that it, it is a run and in here you see that it's having like some error message with a try and this uh, is the page layout for the error message. Here you have the 
number of titles. You have the titles in here with title generate that uh, it will be run. And uh, again in here you have, so basically all of this is for the page that uh, it is up to the generate. So before you hit the generate and after you started with the results, you have this that is just generating the results like this. Okay. Again, there are messages and here you have the 404 message that are handled. And at the end you have the main and in here it's like this. You can use it to put a host on the port or maybe if, if you want to use the serve the default thing for this, you can also do it like this. But right now we just need to start this. So Python main.pi and right now our application should start and hopefully function. Let's see. Five zero zero one. So right now this is our application and make it big. So this is the home page and this is just the structure that I've shown you. You have the header, you have the heroes in the home page, and you have in here the footer like this, the simple one. And in here we have the title generator. And basically, basically in here you have the page with the page title H1, and in here you have the form with what you what your content is about and if in here you put the details like uh, fast html get start i'll put something like that and in here i'll put for youtube for instance i'll put it to be fan funny 10 and then we should hit generate and then right now this should start generating the titles of course you can add also load or if you want in there or in here and in here you see that you have the request so this is the request generated titles you see the page with the generate in here and in here you have the topic platform style and in here you have the title options with the copy button so in here we have the 10 titles and you can go and copy them and use them whenever you want so yeah like this uh, you can use fast html to easily build an ai application with python dki open router and I hope you enjoyed the video. In case you like what you have seen, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.